What's up, Kingdom Kids? It's your girl, y'all. Yes, and I'm here with a word from our good father. Listen, I don't know who this word is for, but you're on the heart of your father, and he sent me here with a word today. Come on now. Your father sent me here to encourage somebody today. So I pray that this word reaches you, and I pray that this word blesses you in Jesus' name. If you're new here, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to be a part of this family, okay? So don't leave without hitting that subscribe button that way you never miss a video all right and if this message blesses you in any way feel free to hit the like button and if the holy spirit relieves you too don't forget to comment share the video okay we definitely want to share the video guys we want to make sure these words are reaching whoever is intended to reach in jesus name all right guys before we get into the word we are gonna go ahead and pray in the holy spirit because y'all know we don't do nothing here without god amen amen pray with me family Father God, we come to you today, Lord, as humble as possible, just thanking you for who you are. God, we thank you for getting us through yet another day. God, we thank you for getting us through another month. And God, we thank you for getting us through another year. Father God, we just thank you for keeping us. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for protecting us. And thank you for loving us, Father God. God, I thank you for your sons and daughters that has been led to this video, Father. I pray that they have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Father, let it be your voice that is heard, Father God. Begin to fill me up and speak through me. Holy Spirit, begin to increase and may Yada begin to decrease, Father God. Speak to your children. May it be your voice that is heard, Father. May Yada be seen and not heard. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen, amen, amen. All right, family, let's get into this word. Listen, I don't know who this is for, but you, 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 you listen, you going to know who this is for, okay? This word will be confirmation. Do you hear me? This is going to activate your spirit. I come to encourage somebody today. This is what your father said. God said, it is not time to abort mission. Listen to what your father said. He said, y'all are going to tell my child it is not time to abort mission. I don't know what you've been working on, but God said you're thinking about giving up, baby. He said, but it is not time to abort mission. Do you hear me? God said, just because you don't see fruit, come on now, just because you don't see the fruit does not mean there isn't any growth. Woo. Did you hear what your father said? He said, baby, you've been growing more than you know. You have grown more than you know. He said, just because you don't see fruit does not mean there hasn't been any growth. Come on, God say, listen, so many times my children want to go from sowing to harvest, from sowing to harvest. He said, but you got to tend them plants. Come on now. You got to tend that, baby. You're going to have to water it, pull some weeds. You have to tend it. God say, you got to know what season you're in. Come on, there's a time and season for everything. God say, there's some frustration here. Come on, because you have been doing the right things in the wrong season. Do you know what season you're in? Come on, your father said it is important to know what season you're in. You're going to have to go to the Holy Spirit and ask him, Holy Spirit, what season am I in? Am I sowing? Am I watering? Am I tending? Am I harvest time? If it's harvest time. Come on now, God say, go tell my child, there is a time and season for everything. Come on now, you are becoming frustrated. We are becoming frustrated because you're doing the right things in the wrong season. Come on, somebody type out, it is important to know what season you're in. Come on, type that out. It's important to know what season you're in. Come on, listen to what your father said. He told me to go look up the stages of a plant. Because you got to know that a plant goes through six stages before it is a, 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 a ripened fruit. Before it is something that you can eat. Come on now. That will, will um, be a ripened fruit. So God told me to tell you, after you sow. Because so many times, like I said, we want to go from sowing to harvest. He said, after you sow. 
You need to know there is stages to that plant as well. Come on now. He said, because if you rush it, you will ruin it. Come on. God say, if you rush it, you will ruin it. Come on. Type that out, baby. Say, if you rush it, you will ruin it. Come on now. I, I, listen, I remember when I used to eat Shepanica, uh, eat Shepanica's back when I was a child, back in New Orleans. You might not know what that is, but it's a Japanese pear. I believe, and and it grows in Japan, but in the um, the the humidity, the the atmosphere is okay for it to grow in New Orleans. Okay, so when you would eat these little chapanicas, okay, if you pick them too soon, they will be green and they will be sour, and if they were green, yellow, bright yellow, they will be sweet. But if you let them live, stay on the on the tree too long, they will turn orange and they will be sour. I'm sorry, it will be bitter. They will be bitter. So it's important to know what season you're in because even if it's harvest time, you need to know if your fruit is ripe to pick. Okay? You got to know if your fruit is ready to be picked. Okay? So God is saying you got to know the stages that a plant goes through. All right? This is what a plant goes through after you sow your seeds. It, as a sprout, it goes through seeding. A vegetable, budding, flowering, and ripening. Sprouts is when it grows a little. This is when you plant the seed and it just started growing underground. Okay, in darkness. Okay, when, when you're isolated. All right, when God have isolated you. Okay, so you just, and God said, and the devil, he said, remind you that the seed, when it, it has enough nutrients, when it's planted, it has enough nutrients to grow the leaves that it needs. All right. So it's the, the grow, it grows a little bit and then, and then it starts to break the ground. It becomes a stem. Okay. Then it becomes a stem. The next stage, it develops leaves. This is when it really needs food, water, nutrients, sunlight. Okay. And then the um you have a full the uh, full grown plant. And then you will have a full grown plant. Stage five, you have a full grown. I'm sorry, stage four is budding. Stage four, you will have a full grown plant. And stage five, they're now developing healthy fruit. And stage five, the plant is now developing healthy fruit which is the flowering stage and stage six it says ripening the fruit are fully mature it is fully mature you can eat it now you can consume this fruit now and get the experience the sensation the lord intended for you to get if you pick the fruit too early or you pick it too late, you will not ex get the experience the Lord intended for you to have. Okay? Listen, God said right now, um, you need to get in, get in, get with the Holy Spirit. Come on now. Get with the Holy Spirit. Let's pray over that before I get into the scripture. Because I know I'm going to just do it now while I got y'all on. So touch your head. Holy Spirit, begin to reveal to us which seasons we're in. What areas of our life that we are be sowing, watering, tending our harvest? God, begin to show it to us. Reveal these things to us, Father God, so that we may do the right thing in the right season, Father God. So we may lose or decrease some of that frustration. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen, amen, amen. Okay, guys. Listen, this is the scripture that God gave me, and I'm going to let y'all go. Luke 10, verses 38 and 30 through 41. Luke 10, verses 38 through 41. I'm telling you, I don't know this is what God said. Do not, do not give up, baby. Do not give up. There is tension and frustration because you may be doing the right things in a wrong season. And and listen to me. This is even, God even gave you just listen. God told me, um, he reminded me of, you know, me when I was in my last relationship. Um, so the guy was looking for a wife, right? And he would buy me flowers. And I didn't like flowers. So I would not give him the reaction he was looking for, right? 
So I'm saying that to say he was doing the right thing in the wrong season. And sometimes, so many times, even us as women, we give boyfriends, um, husband privileges. Okay, so it, and you become frustrated because you're not getting the rain. God said you're becoming frustrated because you're doing the right thing in the wrong season. Okay, so the same as with the, my ex, like he would give me flowers, but he was doing the right thing. Come on, I wasn't saying all women didn't like flowers. I didn't care for flowers. Okay, so he was doing the right thing in the wrong season. It's important to know what season you're in because if you're giving boy, if you're giving husband privilege to a boyfriend you can easily become frustrated come on now and start thinking you don't want to be a wife anymore i ain't looking for a husband i don't even want a husband you do want a husband come on now you still want a husband you're becoming frustrated because you are now treating this boyfriend that is not your husband with the you know, as a husband, you're doing wife duties to a, a boyfriend. You're giving too much to a relationship that ain't what that is. So you do want to be very careful about doing the right things in the wrong seasons. Okay, guys? All right. I, I pray that you guys can, you know, you understood what I was trying to, what the Holy Spirit is trying to, you know, get out there. So um, let's go. Luke 10, verses 38 through 41. This is when Martha invites Jesus into his home, into her home. And then I'm going to let y'all go. Happy holidays, everyone. I pray that you all are doing well. Okay, so this is what it says. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, we, he, came, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do um left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Verse 41. Martha, Martha, the Lord answers, You worry, you're worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed. Or one, or indeed only one. Martha has chosen which is better, and it will not be taken from her. Okay, so right now, this is what the Lord is saying. He's saying Martha wasn't doing the wrong thing. She was preparing a meal for Jesus. Come on, she was making sure everything was in order and trying to serve Jesus. But Jesus said, I came to serve, not to be served. Come on now. So you don't want to get caught stuck in the kitchen when you could be drinking from the life from 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 uh, the living god you could be drinking the uh, the living water but you're in the kitchen pepper prepping everything and then she got so frustrated listen to me martha was so frustrated y'all <laughs> that she had the nerve to check jesus you ever got so frustrated that you had to ask god do you even love me <laughs> like did you ever you have you ever gotten so frustrated that you check Jesus, Martha had gotten so frustrated that because she was doing the right thing in the wrong season that she checked Jesus. She told him, um, don't you, don't you see my sister ain't helping me? You know, don't you care? You know, sometimes we ask God that don't you care about me? God say, it, you know, we don't ever have to question his love for us. We never have to question God's love for us. You woke up, didn't you? Come on now. You woke up, didn't you? Let's go on. So he said she was, the guy was like, do you see? She got, she became so frustrated that she checked Jesus and she didn't just check him. She told him what to do. She said, now tell her to help me. <laughs> Let's see what the Lord said. He said, you become so frustrated. You are telling him what to do. He said, and since he ain't doing what you told him to do, you ready to give up. You ready to throw in the towel. Ha, huh? no, 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 no. We ain't doing that, baby. God say no. No, no, throw in the towel. You need to get down at my feet and listen. You got to get down with your father and say, God, if I've been doing the wrong thing, the right thing in the wrong season, can you tell me what season I'm in? Can you tell me what season I'm in? Okay, God say, keep on tending to your blessings. Keep tending to those flowers. Keep tending to your garden. Keep tending to your fruit. Blossom season is near. 
The blossom season is near. Harvest season is near. If you give up now, your, your plants will not grow to full maturity level. If you abort mission now, you are going to leave your legacy. You're going to leave your garden unattended. Okay? <laughs> I just heard swiping, no swiping. Don't leave your stuff unattended. Do not throw in the towel, family, okay? I'm sorry to be coming here on a holiday, okay? But when the Lord sent me to come and give a message, I got to be obedient, okay? I must be obedient. So I pray that this word reaches you and it bless whoever is intended for it because your father said you are ready to give up. And he's telling you, I don't give up. Do not abort mission. Okay, just make sure you're operating in the right, doing the right things in the right season. All right, come on now, y'all know it is a season and a time, a time and a season for everything. Okay, so right now you're in a watering and tending season. You're tending those uh that garden. Okay, it is not time for harvest. And that's why you're becoming frustrated. You're becoming frustrated because you're like, I, I, I invested. Where's the, where's the income? Where's the, where's the residual? Where's the, you know, where's the revenue? God said, keep on going, keep on going. Come on, somebody type that out. Just keep on going. Just keep on watering. Keep on tending, baby. And I promise you, the fruit will develop. Okay, when that stem break the ground, you keep on gro uh, uh, going. You're going to keep on growing if you keep on going. Okay, it's going to keep on growing if you keep on going. Whew. Listen to what your father say. Type that out, somebody. Listen to what the Lord say. He said, if you keep on going, it's going to keep on growing. Listen, I have to go, y'all. I just wanted to drop that off and, and bless somebody today to come and encourage you today. God say, do not give up just because you know how you know how when we grow. You don't see yourself grow. You don't see yourself grow. You just know you got bigger, you got smaller. You don't, you don't, you don't see yourself grow. God say just because you can't see it with the naked eye, just because you don't see the, the fruit doesn't mean there isn't any growth. You have grown, baby. You ought to just be giving yourself a pat on the back, hugging yourself, showing yourself some love. Get yourself some grace, okay? Because you're growing. You're growing and you have grown more than you know. Don't give up, okay? I'm here to tell you, do not give up. It is not the time to abort mission. All right? I love y'all so much. I pray that this word blesses whomever is intended to bless. In Jesus' name, I pray that it reaches you and it blesses you. And I keep saying it because I know the word reaches a lot of people, okay? But it don't bless everybody. So whoever is intended for, I pray that it not just reach you, but it bless you. That you catch this thing in the spirit. Amen? Amen. Listen, y'all, I pray that everyone is well. Y'all go out and live a blessed life. I love you. Thank you for the love. Love, the comments, the shares, listen, the 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 uh, the likes, the seeds that you guys have been sowing into the ministry, that you're sowing into me and into the vision that God has for this family, okay? Listen, thank you for the emails, everybody. Listen, I just love y'all so much. Y'all are great. You're just awesome. You guys, because I wouldn't, I thank God for the opportunity to serve you guys, and I thank you for, for being attentive, Okay, being attentive, not just taking these words and walking away. You're taking them and you're putting them into play in your life. So I just thank you for being attentive. I thank you for sowing your time here with me. Okay, I love y'all so much. Y'all go out and live a blessed life. You know the blessed life comes from first being a blessing. Be well. I love y'all so much. I really, really do.